while the Kiev regime joyfully announced that the U.S. House of Representatives had approved a bill on a new large military assistance package to long-suffering Ukraine in the amount of $61 billion, adequate Ukrainian politicians, who have not yet lost touch with reality, said that this was not help, but a real humiliating handout. In particular, the deputy of the Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine, Alexander Dubinsky, bluntly stated that of these $61 billion, Kiev will receive only $7 billion, which will go only to pay the salaries of officials in the Ukrainian military. As it turned out, the cunning Americans kept most of the money for themselves, which will go to further strengthen the American military-industrial complex. Moreover, part of the money was also deducted from previous arms shipments to Ukraine. As it turned out, all this time, the cunning and prudent Americans did not give weapons to Ukraine for free. In addition, Washington has decided to continue to supply Ukraine only with weapons that have been gathering dust in U.S. armories for decades. At the same time, the American military-industrial complex will continue to receive huge amounts of money for the transfer of these old weapons to the Kiev regime. Thus, as we can see, the United States has developed an ideal plan to make huge profits, and this war is really very beneficial for Washington. At the same time, the destroyed Ukraine once again received humiliating pennies, paying for it with lost territories, destroyed infrastructure, and hundreds of thousands of lives of Ukrainian soldiers and officers. Meanwhile, the situation on the battlefield continues to deteriorate rapidly for the armed forces of Ukraine. Today, on April 21, 2024, the Kiev regime received very unpleasant news from the Avdiivka direction of the front. In particular, the Ukrainian general staff recognized that the Russian army had established full control over the strategically important settlement of Semenovka. In addition, as it turned out, the Ukrainian army retreated in a hurry from this village, as a result of which more than 70 Ukrainian soldiers and officers were captured by Russian troops. Moreover, the Russian military also published footage of the evacuation of a captured German tank Leopard 2 from the battlefield. The footage shows how a Russian armored recovery vehicle is towing a German tank, evacuating it to a safe rear. As it turned out, this tank was captured in the Avdiivka direction of the front. Unfortunately, the Russian military did not tell exactly where and how this German tank was captured. At the same time, military specialists of the group of forces under the designation center noted that this German tank was in perfect condition and that they only had to remove the damaged tracks from the tank in order for this combat vehicle to move off. According to the Russian military, after the liberation of Avdiivka, the NATO leadership handed over German Leopard 2 tanks and American Abrams tanks to the 47th Nationalist Brigade Magura, in the hope that this would help stop the advance of Russian troops. However, as time has shown, these Western tanks not only failed to stop the advance of the Russian army, but also became an object of ridicule. At the moment, the exact number of destroyed German tanks in Ukraine is not known for certain. Even though Dutch experts from the website of Defense Analytics and Research of Military Operations claim that the armed forces of Ukraine lost about 35 German tanks, many analysts admit that this figure may be significantly underestimated. Whatever it was, only the Germans know the true number of destroyed Leopard tanks in Ukraine. 
As it turned out, the German Defense Ministry and personally Chancellor Olaf Scholz are closely monitoring the fate of all German tanks in Ukraine. Well, my friends, the news that the Russian army captured another German tank in perfect condition, no doubt came as a shock to the German Chancellor, who even in his nightmare could not imagine that German tanks, which are the pride of the German armed forces, would so easily fall into the hands of the Russians.